You could try whatever you wanted with me. <laughs> like what? Exploring each other. Maybe. <laughs> that would be too much to hope for. How come? It would be very, very nice, and things like that don't come along very often. As I was taking my shower, I got to thinking, what if this was a setup like a sting operation? I would be hauled away and forever labeled a sex offender. How can I be sure? Hey, you made it. Come on in. Hello. <laughs> well, I thought I'd run around and grab something to eat. We can go out and do that. Oh, no, I was like, you should stay here. I don't even think we should talk or something first, mm. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How are you this afternoon? Pretty good. I probably think I know who, who you are, right? Why don't you have a seat right there, please? Sure. How are you doing? Good. What are you up to today? Well, I thought I'm going to have a hamburger. Hamburger. And who are you going to have a hamburger with? Well, somebody by the name of Tanya. Well, how long did it take you to drive over here? 34 minutes, I guess. 34 minutes. And along the way, did you think... Maybe this is a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> sure. But you kept driving. Yeah, like I say, it was curiosity got the better of me. Curiosity. What, curiosity to see what it would be like to meet a 14-year-old girl home alone? Partially. <laughs> I was stupid. I knew it was a setup. But help curious. me to understand it, though. If you knew it was a I setup... I know. Why, why, why am I here, Why would right? you even do it? I know. And come would on you, over. Would uh, you identify yourself? Now, I'll get to that in just a minute. No, would you identify yourself now? I'm Chris Hansen. And so you're not with law enforcement, you're with the TV station. With Dateline NBC. Now, I want to talk to you just a little bit about this chat. Mm -hmm. You ask, can I be your boyfriend? Okay. I think this conversation is good. Well, as I told you, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. Yeah. We're doing a story on adults who try to meet children mm -hmm. online. Please! Get on the ground. Get, Get on, on the ground. ground on the ground. On the ground. Face on the belly. Face on your down. belly. Okay. Roll up, sir. Where are you? Roll up. Get up. Take the flag. Let's go anything on you? Police find an unusual rubber object with spikes. Can I get somebody to call my wife because I've got a heart condition and she's going to be worried if she doesn't hear from me? We can attend to that, sure. Okay. He signs in. What made I've you never, want to come over here? anybody before, actually. Have a hamburger with a 14-year-old child? Yeah. Doesn't that sound a little unusual? It sounds stupid. Okay. <laughs> And you transmit to Tanya, maybe we should have spent the night together. I was joking. And mine would not have been restful and yours would not have been boring? What? <laughs> I was joking. I have a tendency to be funny and I make jokes of everything. Did you intend to have sex with her? I don't think so, to be honest. You don't think so? No. It had spikes coming off of it. What is that? I don't remember now. Uh, it's some kind of ring. Oh, uh, a finger indexer for uh, clipping through papers? No. Well, that's what I got it for. Where'd you get it? I think I got that at an office supply store. No, you didn't buy that at an office supply store. Maybe an adult bookstore or someplace like that? Is it some kind of stimulator? I guess it could be. <laughs> the more I think about it. I think we both know. You brought that out here today when you went to meet this 14-year-old girl. Yeah, it was probably just in my jacket. Okay. It was not intentional. I used to work in police work. That's what okay. Many, many, many years ago. Were you a policeman? Uh, yeah. How do we go from law enforcement to the chaperone? I knew better. I knew better. I did it anyway. 